Join me today as I challenge myself to create a stunning resin art piece using easy techniques that even us beginners can master. I have always felt intimidated by resin and I've put off attempting to make this fantasy beach ocean themed piece of resin art until now. But the truth is, even those of us, including me, that have zero experience will be amazed at how easy it is to create a stunning resin art piece that will make your friends and family go, wow. With the right technique and a little bit of patience, anyone, even me, can create a masterpiece. Let's get started. Hi guys, I am working on a natural birch wood 20 by 20. It's a Meden painting panel. And I've got the edges taped on the side. I'm going to do a purple and pink ocean wave. I'm pretty excited because I've never done this before. So uh, you guys are gonna be able to watch me get it done. I'm gonna paint on this first. And I'm gonna use Titanium Light Buff. I'm gonna use the Pearlized Violet by Master's Touch and the Arteza Pearl Rose to just get a base down of color on the panel. And then I'm gonna mix, mix my resin with, I've got Latte and Ball Gown for my sand, my beach area. And I've got Show Pony, Violet Rain, this is so pretty, and Crescendo in the TLPs. So let's get started. Hope you guys are doing fine today. I am doing fine now that I am off work and I am able to paint. So I want to kind of do it like that. There's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna paint it because it doesn't matter, but I want this to kind of go like that. And I'm just using whatever I had here handy. A lot of my paintbrushes are next door in my house because I tend to paint with brushes over there. And in my studio, I normally use fluid paints over here. So I do have better paint paintbrushes. <laughs> just don't have them accessible right now and this is what I want to do. I'm gonna have real sand on top of this too so I just need like a little base just to kind of know that I painted it and it's sealed up. There. I'm gonna do the pink first and then the purple. Like I oh see you guys like I said I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, should be enough. It's gonna be super super cool. I saw someone do these colors on like some coasters or on like a heart board or something like that. I can't remember who it is. I will link them in the description. I was so inspired by them. I was like, I'm gonna have to try that. So, pretty sure I subscribed to their channel. Probably think that I'm stalking them. Yeah, should be fine. Purple is my favorite color. And this purple is freaking Amazing, I've never used it before. Super pretty. Let this dry and we are going to mix some resin for the sand. I've got this Liquitex natural sand. I'm just gonna put it in this cup. Should be enough. And I'm gonna tint it with this latte. Stir it up a little bit. No, I'm just gonna. Sparkly sand. That's gonna be pretty. We'll get a brush or something. Oh, it's so glittery. That's gonna be pretty. Love the latte. A little bit of a ridge, but not much. Can you guys see how that's shimmering? Oh, it's so pretty. Gosh, I've been wanting to do this for like months. So this is a pretty good product to use for sand. And using the latte, the TLP latte, just freaking makes it sparkle. I can't wait for that resin to be on top. And it is just going to bling. If you like blingy stuff, this is definitely going to be sparkly. Super sparkly. Okay, I'll leave it like that. Let that completely dry 
and I will add our rocks and our shells to it once it's dry with some resin and build it up. I think it's gonna be really cool. Super cool, can't wait to show you guys. But I'm going to incorporate the shells that I got from Panama City, Florida the last time I went to visit my son. Let this dry and we will be back. Oh, I got some sand up there, it's okay. Hi everyone, I'm back, everything is dry. I'm going to make up some pigments here. Um, see if we can't lay down some shells and some quartz crystals that I have found laying around. I'm going to put down some real sand. I just didn't want the back to be like really bare. I wanted it to be kind of painted, so that's what we did. This is, I think, a 12 ounce, 16 ounce cup. And I'm using KS Resin in the Liquid Art Elite Epoxy. It's about a 45 minute working time, and it is a one to one mixing ratio by volume. So what I'll do is I'll put one part of the hardener first, because it's the thinnest, and I'm gonna do, I guess, maybe let's do 10. There we go. I'm going to mix this resin for about five minutes and I'll be back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my just resin, my ocean white, and it says to squeeze a few drops into my well mixed resin. So I'm going to put that much in there, maybe? I don't know, that should be enough. Okay, a few drops. One, two, three, four. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I got that. I'm putting that to the side. But now I'm going to mix some colors. I'm gonna mix TLP's ball gown and TLP's latte. That's gonna be for my sand. So this is the latte. And this is the ball gown. Super pretty. Okay, those are mixed. Um, do the piece first. It's a bit of a lighter color of the, the resin. That is the ball gown, and then going to move down the latte. Pretty sure I'm gonna have enough. Let me get my spatula. So guys, these spatulas I found on Amazon, and they are in my Amazon shop. I got four of these for less than $10, and that is way cheaper than the like yellow and black ones. I have those in there too, but these are the exact same, but a different company. And I got four all different colors. Like I got, I think a yellow one, this one, a light pink one, and a purple one. So you guys go down and check them out. Okay, and I'm going to place my rocks. Now I'm going to take and sprinkle this. This has sand and little bitty, little bitty things from the beach. Looks good. Looking damn good. Now we're going to put down the pink show pony, the crescendo. Violet rain. Oh my god, that's pretty. This is so pretty. So pretty, guys. So pretty. Okay. That. I'm going to add some of this clear in here. Blow some of this white around on top of this. And then we'll come back and do different waves tomorrow. I think I might put some diamond dust in here just to kind of make it shimmer, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, it's pretty. So let's see 
my brand new heat gun. I hadn't tried it out, so let's move this a little bit. There's spatula. Move it around a little bit and see what we get. I'm gonna bring these rocks back. Bubbles out. Okay. I'm gonna take this clear. I have left. Oh, that thing's hot. Very hot. Okay. Try this, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. Don't think I had enough resin on here to move it out, but. I think it'll be fine for the first pass. I love the blending of the colors. I love this. So my camera got hot, but I'm going to, because I'm close-ups of this, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, everybody, we are back, and I was thinking that I was done with the color, but I'm not. I'm going to do some crescendo and some of the violet rain. Not very much. I just want a little bit to take tint, tint it, not much. Now I have my white, uh, the ocean white Let's Resin already in my cup mixed. And I did this wave and I thought I had it on tape, but my camera went off, so I don't have that for you. This is the first time I've done this, so we'll have to do it again. I'm using Crystal Resin and I'm going to start, this is gonna come down a little bit, so I want to start my wave um, probably right here. And I want to kind of come in the way the shore's coming. So I have no idea, but we're gonna try it. Kind of like that. And then I'm gonna put the crescendo right behind it. The other right behind it. Look at that. Okay. You have to wait a little bit after you mix the resin. Uh, that's why my resin's getting a little warm, so that it will thicken up a little bit and not like run. So just remember that. I had my cordless heat gun, and it just didn't seem like it had enough power. So we're gonna use this one. I'm gonna pop the bubbles.
really good. Um, I think I need to put the line on a little thicker here. I want it to be a little more predominant. Okay. Try the heat gun again. Okay, that looks good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, guys, I think I really love this. That really worked out well. Pretty sure I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, guys, I will see you when it dries. Okay, guys, I'll be back. <laughs>